Have I got a story for you. For those of you who don't know, the ESPYs are the award shows for sports, like the Oscars or the Grammys, but this time for athletes, and it's put on by ESPN. As much as I'm a nerd, I've also been an athlete for my entire life, so as much as I don't really follow professional sports that much, I still love sports. So I was extremely excited to be able to attend the ESPYs with my brother and then our friends, Sydney and Wes. Well, it's nice to get dressed up all fancy, and it was really cool to see the award show in person. I thought it was better than getting to watch it on TV, and Drake was a great host. There's the stuff that happened after is where the real story happens. Wes was particularly determined to get into an after party, which was ultimately unsuccessful, even though we made some friends with some really nice police officers who gave us tips and encouragement. We wandered around a bit trying to get into the ESP after party, but they unsurprisingly had security pretty well sorted. So after not getting in there, we walked around LA Live for a little bit, and Sydney saw Drake walk by and was like, that's Drake, let's follow Drake. So there's a huge crowd of people around him and he's walking along and then he dives into this sushi restaurant and we figure well it's attached to the Marriott there might be a club or something up there that we're just not going to be able to get into. So we hang outside for about 10 minutes before I can't remember who probably Wes, Troy or Sydney I didn't make the suggestion. It's like well let's just go in and see if we can get a drink here. Nobody else had really gone in after him which was kind of weird but we went in and asked if we could get a drink at the bar and the person's like well the bar is really crowded right now but you know, I don't know how long it's gonna take you to get a drink. Like, well, can we at least try? So we went over to the bar and there was not very many people there. It took like two seconds to get a drink. But as we're walking around, there's a big long table that's right next to the bar. And sitting right there is Drake. So we all understand that this is kind of like a, a no pictures safe area. They're having, you know, a meal with friends, that kind of thing. So we go get a drink at the bar and then we look down towards the other end of the table and there's Blake Griffin and Peyton Manning. Now, as much as I had to be explained who athletes were throughout the night, because the other three I was with knew more of the athletes, I did not need to be explained who those athletes were. So as we're there getting a drink, other people start to kind of filter in, and in comes Danica Patrick, and here comes the guy who won the Heisman Trophy last year, whose name I don't remember, and Bill Simmons, and other people who my friends pointed out that I didn't know who they were. Everything's kind of winding down and people are getting up to say goodbye. I think Blake Griffin might have already left. I think Drake's already gone because the after after party was at Drake's mansion. Peyton Manning is kind of looking around, maybe looking at the TV that's above us where they're showing the ESPYs, which had already happened. And my brother happens to have a Colts iPhone case. Now, out of all of the athletes that are at this event, if somebody said you get to meet one athlete and shake their hand and get, have a short conversation with them, who would you want it to be? I would have said Peyton Manning. My brother would have fallen over and said Peyton Manning. So my brother takes his phone case and Peyton Manning is kind of looking in our direction. So he shows him the phone case and kind of points to it. And at first Peyton Manning's like, you know, no pictures, no pictures, that kind of thing. It's what we think he was saying. And then Troy points at it again and realizes there's a Colts logo on it, his former team, for those of you who don't know. So Manning kind of gives him a smile and a thumbs up and that kind of thing. And then we go about our business and Troy's like, oh, that was the Peyton Manning saw my phone case. Oh, he gave me a thumbs up. Was well, Manning is getting ready to leave, he gets up and he's kind of making his rounds and he starts coming over towards us and he walks straight over to my brother and extends his hand and shakes my brother's hand and he's like, oh, you know, cool case or whatever he says and my brother's like, oh, you're, you know, one of my favorite players and I was a Colts fan, now I'm a Broncos fan because of you and yeah. So Manning's like, oh, that's really cool and then he turns to the rest of us in the group and extends his hand to the rest of us and says, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you and he shakes all of our hands. So at the end of a night of not getting into after parties and, and I sh shook Peyton Manning's hand. He shook my hand. He extended his hand to me and I shook his hand. It's one of those things where it doesn't quite settle in just like what you just did, especially shaking his right hand, like his passing hand. I'm, you would say that I'm nerding out a little bit. But yeah, so that was just a, that was a interesting, interesting way to end the night of going to the ESPYs in the first place and then ending the night shaking Peyton Manning's hand in a sushi place and even though I don't really listen to his music being so close to Drake that I could have like reached my hand over and patted him on the head <laughs> which I didn't do just fair warning let's just leave it at it was it was a good night I'll see you soon